What was your role there, and uh, you know what did you learn from uh, whatever Actually, role? Actually, uh, my role uh, is uh, mainly on helping out the students and uh, the newcomers, those who uh, come to Hyderabad, uh-huh. in uh, the way to deal with the colleges and uh, there's scholarships and all everything, admission process, okay. and uh, to organize uh, the gatherings. That's a great initiative that you took. Uh, so, what was your overall experience from you know uh, that uh, the role that you played there? What did you learn from the experience? From my experience in a student organization, I uh, learned like uh, about how officious and all works. It was a uh, very uh, ex- actually I was very inspired by the works and the process, uh, like. To communicate, actually, I was a bit introvert earlier, but by engaging in the uh, organization, okay. actually, that made me a bit uh, adaptive to uh, uh, the crowds, okay. which I was introvert. Already. Do you follow newspaper? Uh, not exactly. Like, okay. Uh, for this exam, yes, I did. Uh, Anything that you have, uh, you know, recently read. 
recently there will be uh, data leaks of uh, other based uh, information through the medical uh, ICMR portal. Okay, can you tell us more about it? What is the incident? Yes. Uh, actually, uh, during the COVID period, we used to gather the data that is uh, main data which we gather was Aadhaar card for registration of the COVID vaccination because that through that certificate only we can gen uh, we can generate the, the certificate of COVID vaccination. We can track the data, the record of uh, how much vaccination doses has been given or whether the person has been uh, vaccinated or not. So uh, we used to gather data and that data has been uh, stored in the ICMR portal. So that data has been uh, leaked. Uh, actually, so AC 1.5 crore people's data has been leaked yes. and especially a country, from a country like India. So what do you think about uh, the recent act that has been passed by the parliament uh, regarding the protection of data? And uh, what is your opinion? Like, how do you think the cyber security also should function in this era? Ma'am, uh, the recent act will raise the uh, accountability because without accountability, because the organizations and all they used to gather data without any accountability, which is uh, very uh, important for the user because. Uh, Information like PAN card and Aadhaar card, that is a very uh, crucial information which can be accessed to our accounts, bank accounts, transactions and everything, every details. So uh, the recent uh, X which has been passed, uh, it will be benefit for everyone. Okay. So, uh, so uh, what according to you is integrity? Well, uh, integrity is uh, doing uh, like a person who doesn't make any mistakes. Even though uh, honesty uh, seems to be similar, but honesty maybe like after doing, he might do mistake, but uh, he will uh, explain it later or like he will uh, tell the person that I did that mistake. Uh, he, he <clears throat> but integrity, a person of integrity, he, he prevents himself from doing that mistakes. He avoids doing mistakes. Okay. okay. So, um, uh, do you have any example of your personal example where you have showed integrity in your life? Uh, Ma'am, uh, that would be uh, my experience during COVID. Uh, while, while I was working in COVID, uh, there are many offers and uh, from the public side because the government have made mandatory for the public to secure a vaccination dose for availing government benefits. So most of the villagers and the tribal peoples, those who are afraid of the vaccines, the side effect of the vaccines, they used to approach me a lot, uh, offering me some amount of money. So at uh, that time, point of view, like uh, I as a man of integrity and against corruption, like. I totally oppose that view and I, uh, I never accept it. Uh, there was seen in, uh, I mean, uh, while I was also in service, I, it was seen that the tri there was a lot of reluctance towards vaccination from tribals. Why is it so? Actually, uh, there was a misconception and misinformation among the tribals. Uh, most of, uh, actually, uh, that will be because of the news and because of the side effects that has been caused, which is uh, I believe the side effect has been caused due to uh, certain reasons that might be one might be uh, uh, the vaccine carrier. If the vac vaccine has been exposed to certain temperature or like certain uh, open air or like conditions, uh, there might be uh, chances of vaccine being contaminated, uh, contaminated. So that contaminated vaccine if injected to a person, uh, it, it will result in the there might be a death of a uh, beneficiary. So those uh, incidents have occurred uh, in some of the places. And also uh, there are some risks uh, among those who are alcoholic and uh, the pregnant ladies. So uh, at the start, government has already advised the health uh, workers not to go for uh, this, uh, not to give vaccinations to those who have consume alcohol for uh, 
the past day 24 hours or uh, like uh, the pregnant ladies so okay. uh, that might be the reason because of the uh, result which have occurred in the villages and the villages are a bit uh, sensitive of that okay result. you're from Difu, right yes sir. so can you tell us something that we don't know about Difu? so uh, at present the Difu there is nothing to hide as Google is available and the news is also everywhere. Um, yes, but unlike uh, previous times, most of the times uh, previously, uh, now DFU has been uh, developed from the current government. They are putting high effort on development, development in every, ski, every uh, prospects in uh, mentally and uh, physically. Like uh, they have built sports stadiums and uh, encouraging the sports, and uh, they have also uh, built the roads and uh, buildings to attract the tourists. Okay. Since uh, you know, uh, majority of your district is covered by rural population, yes, sir. and um, there are places which are inaccessible. Yes. So. Uh, can you give us some suggestions how you know development can be more accessible in a place like your district or other hill districts first? Uh, that will be, uh, we can begin that with public awareness because most of the public are unaware of uh, what the development can bring. Most of the villagers or the remote uh, area res residents, they are afraid that if the development comes that means uh, there will be an intrusion from the outsiders. The, the outsiders may uh, take their lands and all. So, first of all, I'll be suggesting for public awareness that not such things is going to happen because we are protected under certain uh, articles of six schedule rights. So, uh, public awareness is the main, uh, it would be number one. And uh, second will be uh, through education, because uh, most of the villagers they are they still believe in uh, uh, the old practices. So uh, if education is uh, brought to all the villagers, uh, there might be a changes. Okay. What who about you, your? Uh, who are they in your family? Um, actually, I'm an orphan. Uh, I've been uh, looked after by my maternal uncle and uh, my auntie, my maternal uncle and auntie. I have uh, one brother and uh, two cousins, that is my maternal uncle's son. Do you have any hobby? Uh, sir, actually, um, I like uh, cooking and uh, listening to music um, most of the times. So what can you, you know, on a, if you invite me on a special day, what would you like to cook? Sir, so I would like to cook uh, some of my curry cuisines. Okay. Um, we uh, generally prefer food without oil, means uh, less oil. So okay. boil, uh, boiled food is very common. Okay. And uh, food with uh, soda in it. That, uh, we used to make it locally through bamboo, like burning of bamboo ashes and then the ashes we collect from that we, we used to make soda, soda water. Uh, so that food, uh, we used to say it, tamoy, that will be. Okay. And uh, as a part of uh, bamboo tribe, like bamboo shoot tribes, uh, we are also a part of bamboo shoot tribe, we prefer bamboo shoot okay. tribe. So uh, bamboo shoot pork, bamboo shoot chicken, that is Okay. Can you tell us some of the uh, traditional food processing methods yes. in your tribe? Um, as I've said, we make soda through uh, bamboo shoots, uh, the, uh, bamboo, the bamboo which is uh, one year old, that's the best. And uh, most of the other tribes they make through banana also, but uh, we prefer with bamboo, bamboo plant and bamboo. And, uh, we like uh, the other thing is sesame seeds, food prepared with sesame seeds. So uh, most of our uh, foods we used to put sesame seeds, uh, grind them sesame seeds. Uh, that will be, we used to say kalanga. Uh, it's a simple version like 
going a little bit, but uh, we used to put sesame seeds in there. And uh, we used to have a fry, uh, dry fry that will be without oil. Uh, we used to say karnu devan. So okay. there'll be a right. So our uh, dance is a big, uh, big stretched and very long, right? And the dance and the song that is played. Uh, can you tell us more about the song, the kinds of songs and dances that are there in the culture? Well, uh, Karbi dances, it includes uh, our daily life, lifestyle. Actually, most of the tribals, uh, we used to represent our lifestyle, daily practices in our dances and song. So, <clears throat> most of our uh, songs and dances are dedicated to our old practices. And uh, some, uh, I can say one dance uh, that is the the grinding of uh, rice. We also play, uh, you don't, uh, you're not into sports? No, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. Uh, so, yeah. Jibyan, it was That's nice it. connecting with you. Thank yeah. You. So, so, how was the experience? Are actually, you... uh, this is my first time, like, uh, came from work interview. I've never visited any institute for mock interview. Okay. It was a very uh, good experience for me, actually. Okay. So what what did you, you know, learn from this experience that you had for last, oh, uh, close to half an hour? Yes, I have to gather some more information on, I have to work more on my tribe, actually, like uh, dances and musics okay. uh, and that time, totally. Okay. Okay, we'd yeah. like to give you some feedback. Yes. First, I'll uh, like start and then so will follow. Yeah. Uh, so, when you entered, yes. like, you will not get that chance to, you know, ask for permission to enter because a uh, uh, person will, you know, guide you yes. into the interview hall. Yes. But if you are to enter, you are to, you know, open the door, mm -hmm. then you need to show your whole body, yes. not just your face. Yes. So that you're confident that you are carrying yourself. Yes. Right? So the next thing is um, when you enter it, you can just have, uh, take a pause here yes. beside the chair and then greet the panel members. So there may be a uh, number of panel members there. So yeah. you can just you know, uh, nod to each one of them as if you actually really want to have wish them a good day. And like that, you are uh, taking into consideration each person, mm -hmm. you greet them well. Yes. And then, when they ask you to sit, yes. you can sit. So that is one thing. And uh, you, your hands, they, they are placed in a very, you know, stiff gesture, in a mm -hmm. stiff manner. You can just, you know, a little yeah. bit you can relax, yes, that yeah. can be better. And you can use a little bit of hand gestures when you are communicating. <clears throat> Natural. Natural. That should not be over the top like yeah. that. But a little bit of hand gest gestures to, you know, explain certain things. Yes. That's good. Yeah. And that adds more to your personality. Mm -hmm. You it may is. lean a little forward. Okay. Yeah. A little bit. You will you know, appear more. Yes. Yes. This will look, you know. More attentive. Yeah. More eager to answer. And yes. eager to listen, eager to learn, and all those attributes that mm. you need also as a person and more so as a civil servant. Yeah. Right? Not necessarily that you will be sitting on the edge. That is again uh, not at the know, edge. Not at the edge, but, but yeah, you be yeah. like you know you should look as if you are very attentive towards yes. the panel members. Yes. Now I think you are feeling the difference. Yes. Right. So, uh, one thing that I have noticed is that uh, when you listen to a question, you are very eager to answer and sometimes you don't let the panel member finish the question. So, that is uh, something that you can add, that listening attribute. You have always ha should have the patience to, you know, let the other person complete, listen to the question completely and then respond. And while responding also, you have to see that your thoughts are organized. 
one thought goes to the next thought in a in a good way, in a flow that uh, that is conversational. Okay. Yes. Otherwise, you have a the good things about you is that you have a very pleasant smile and a very pleasant personality. You look good. You have a uh, very yeah. good present sense also. So those things are good. Yeah. That I should have mentioned right uh, in the beginning because those are good things about you. And uh, one question Sir had asked about food processing. And yeah. uh, so the reason is uh, why I'm uh, pointing that out is you have to listen to the question and respond accordingly. Yes. What question is asked? Like Sir had asked about food processing. You uh, could have added some more like bamboo shoot fermentations, smoke pork, smoke, um, dried meat, smoked right. meat, smoked <coughs> fish. Those are processed food, right? Processed, yeah. yes. So and there are particular can, terms also. Yes. So that yeah. we can consume it or later we can save the food, preserve the food, right? Yes. Those things. So otherwise, you uh, your um, conversations are good, you have pleasant personality. Okay. And the panel members, I'm very sure that we are going to uh, have a very good impression. Okay. So these are certain things that you can work on. Yes. And if you work on these things, that will add a lot to your personality. These are just the fine tunes, uh, yes. touches that, finishing touches that you can add. Yes. My, I from my side I would say that uh, when you enter yes. basically uh, it is a suggestion that yes. uh, you have to find that uh, you know place like you know you have to find that uh, composed uh, what you can say um, you are not basically stable when you entered yes. can you recall that moment you were not uh, you know able to greet us yes. basically yes. and it continued for some time yes. you are not initially for like few minutes you are not very much uh, you can say calm and composed later on you know you became very normal yes. so try to uh, take control of that uh, you know emotion and yes. that uh, you know you can relax little bit when you just enter and try and try to you know connect physically with all the interview members when you are standing right there when you enter and then you will stand and greet them right yes. you try to connect with everyone basically we had to engage with you we had to greet you <laughs> it should have come from your side Sorry. so Sorry. basically i thought like you were a little bit uh, you know um, less calm and composed at that point of time yeah fidgety and nervous mm -hmm. And that made us also, you know, yeah. that energy, It uh, we could feel that. And uh, I would simply suggest you that you try to be a uh, little, uh, you know, ease at ease. Yes. Try to find that place where you are, you know, you are comfortable. And then you can just uh, greet them nicely and yes. then uh, they will allow you to sit, basically. So yes. that is something that I have noticed. And... Uh, I would request you to kind of make your sentences uh, crisp and concise. Yes. Because uh, when I'm asking you, uh, you know, uh, let's say anything, so you can make it little, uh, you know, uh, like, you know, certain uh, questions you could have completed in one sentence, yes. or maybe maximum two sentence, but you kept on, uh, you know, going on. So that you have to avoid because. Uh, you know, uh, it's always important to have, you know, give clear and crisp answers, yes. you know, concise. Okay. So that is something that I have uh, felt about that your thing that your reflects. Clarity yeah. Of thought. Yes. yeah. So and, organized, clear and shorter sentences so that you do not keep on lingering on one sentence and one thought for a very long time. You may have different perspectives yes, and you may have different dimensions to add. So add those things in mm. shorter, clear and very mm. uh, crisp manner. Mm. And uh, most important thing, I think you will improve a lot with this experience. 
because I think since you have said that this is your first interview yes. and you have not practiced that much. Yes. Is that right? Yes. Sir. Not even your intro. No, sir. Yes. Am I correct? Yes. Sir. So you have to do one thing that you have to prepare. At least you should know how you will, uh, you know, uh, let the other person know about you. It is such an uh, important uh, question that, uh, you know, that can have a uh, remarkable mark on the person who is listening to you for the first time. Yes. So if you are asked to, you know, talk about your background or your life, uh, it can be anything. Tell, tell us about your life. Okay. What is the story of your life? So it can be anything. So yes. you should be very, very kind of, you know, very clear, like what all things that you will be covering in your introduction. There are so many things, right? Yes. So how you begin, uh, basically you were not, uh, you know, to sum it up, you were not able to organize your introduction. Yes. Right. You directly went to your Jawaharlal uh, uh, Nehru Institute directly yes. without even, you know, covering so many things yes. in between, right? Yes. If you are able to recall. So you, uh, you know, practice your introduction part. That is one of the, you know, most probable questions. They would like to know about you. So you, you know, organize what all things you will be covering basically in your introduction. Okay. And uh, I think, uh, yeah, major is introduction. Then again, uh, make it uh, concise and clear. Don't just, you know, keep on explaining things. Uh, keep it short. Yes. And uh, be calm and composed. And if you are not just, uh, you know, practice uh, what we can say, like, you know, deep before you enter, let's say if you are not, you know, it, there is a possibility. So there are, you know, different, uh, you know, videos also you can watch meditation yes. and, uh, you know, deep breathing practices, all these things are there, which yes. you must, you know, practice before you enter. So um, those things will help you, I think, uh, little bit, uh, you can be little slow. You are a bit fast. If you just slow down the pace, it will uh, sound more thoughtful, I would say. Although you are saying a lot of things, but those things are not getting registered because you are, your pace is little uh, faster than that we generally, you know, uh, accept basically. So if uh, you can work on... That is a very important point. Because whenever we talk, we want the other person to actually listen to us, yes. register those things yes. that you are saying. We are, we should not be like we are in we are like a machine. We are going on and on and on right. without letting the other person yeah. reflect on what you are saying and register what you are saying. Yes, you cannot be me mechanical. It has to be, uh, you know, you're speaking to me as if, and that nod is also sometimes it's necessary. Uh, you know, it will kind of uh, be uh, more engaging. It will be, it will make it more engaging. That's what I'm saying. Yes. So you cannot just go on saying some things. Uh, you know, you are trying to recall, and then uh, basically you are trying to you know explain so many things. But at the same time, your attention should also be uh, towards the interviewer, where you are trying to engage, or basically you are trying to convince the person who is sitting in front of you. Right. I yes. I hope that is a you know perspective. Yes. that I'm giving you so I these are the things um, I think um, yeah you can be more organized concise and little slow a little slow will make uh, give you that opportunity like I'm saying opportunity it is like I'm using the intonation right so you will get this opportunity to use intonation in your sentences in a better way if you're speaking at a very you know faster pace Yes. That will, uh, you know, kind of you will be eliminating a lot of intonations. And if you remove the intonation, I think uh, we as human being, we, uh, you know, we uh, kind of, uh, we give our emotions. Yes. Try to convey our emotions through intonations. And okay, so you... the other person. Right. When you are saying certain things, you are also persuading the other person that whatever you are saying... Yes. It has some basis, it has some reasons. There are reasons for the other person to believe in you and trust in you. Yes. Right? So another thing I would like to add is your eye contact. 
whenever you are speaking, yes. like when sir asked the question, you would be answered. You had been answering to sir, and yes. the thing uh, what should have been the body language was I got about eye contact. We would have you know balanced the eye contact between him and me. Right. So there could be multiple panel members there, four or five or three. So yes. whenever you are answering any question. Engage each one of them in your answer, when they, whether they might be looking at you or not. Yeah. They might be, you know, busy doing their own stuff, writing or writing something or looking at other things. Mm -hmm. But as an interviewee, you have to pay that respect and engage them in your conversation. Now, I like to point out some positives about you. Okay, yes. you look good. And uh, I think you'll have to do some trimming here. Yes. So Today, uh, yeah, look bad in uh, without this beard. So okay, you have tried that already. Yes. Okay, then it's fine. Just uh, my yeah. point of view. Um, and uh, since you, uh, you know, uh, you have been trying to, uh, you know, establish yourself so much, and uh, you know, you also have a background. Okay, that is something that you know you have continued your uh, this uh, persistently this journey of you know achieving something better in life. So that is something that you know you are very very uh, kind of hardworking person. Persistently, you are trying to achieve something better, always yes. you know improving. He also has so, improved from being an introvert to being a uh, exactly. So that's a person. great skill. I mean, as uh, you know, you have achieved a lot. Basically, I would like to say that. And uh, so, uh, I mean, the, this side of yours should also get reflected when you are introducing yourself. So you have that confidence in you. Whenever you are entering inside the interview hall, interview room, yes. you must know that you are a person who has, uh, you know, been a hard worker. And you have been trying so many things those continuously. So those, uh, you know, strong points you should feel before you enter the interview room. You will be more confident and, you know, you have done your, uh, you know, that part of, you know, hard work. So irrespective of what they ask in interview, you may not know certain questions. So don't be uh, like you said that you have to prepare more about certain, you know, things uh, and not, you, don't you know, have to. right. Yeah. So, uh, not necessary. Yeah. yeah. So, you don't have to consume more knowledge. It's my opinion. Yes. I think uh, whatever you know about your culture, be it your culture, be it about yourself, be it about anything, yes. you just have to organize well. Yeah. Right? Yes. How you say it is more important than what you say. So, yes. whatever knowledge you have till now, don't just fr go frantically looking for more information to consume more to learn, I'll read this much in this day, so uh, every day I'll read this much so that my interview goes well. No, uh, you have enough knowledge, uh, be confident in that because you have clear prelims, yeah. mains, and now you're sitting for the interview. Yeah. You have a good amount of knowledge. Only knowledge, that, yeah. When you present it, you should be a, that should be a very warm presentation, very thoughtful, yeah very you know someone who has uh, a lot of reflections on things that is going around you and mindful whatever yes. is happening currently like you entered you should be mindful about the you know take it up right right basically it's like you know uh, it's like that uh, you're talking about the hardware of a computer but they are going to check your software basically so hardware is like you know data information or all these things it's like you know just to uh, uh, you know because it's personal interview that's why it is uh, all about you knowing you in person basically they have known you through your writings through your you know mcq tests now it's time for you to know in person okay so they will be checking your software what software you have inside okay so, so that's, that's the thing. Uh, I think you will do much better than this. So if you take in, uh, you know, take all these things into consideration and you work on these things, you already have a very, very pleasant, pleasant, pleasant personality. Yes. And uh, 
and what I can say, uh, they would like to talk to you, basically. So you give that opportunity. You talk less and let them, you know, ask more questions. That's something that I've already covered. Okay. So with that, we wish you all, all the best. very best. Thank you. Practice, sir. practice and practice. Thank you, all these things you must note down. Okay. The moment you go outside, just yes. note it down. What I have said, concise, organize, calm and compose, try to find that, you know, uh, how you uh, process and bring that calmness inside your head. I've given you some suggestions regarding that. Uh, greetings, you must practice all this, you know, so that you greet someone and make them feel good. This is more important. People remember, uh, uh, don't remember what you do for them. There's a, you know, quote. They remember how you made them feel. Okay, so you have to make them feel right from the you know time you enter and you greet them. Okay, the greeting is important. That's how you open. Yes. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon, ma'am. Or you know you again you can try. Yes. Okay. All the best. Good luck. Um, yeah. Uh, I have a question. Yeah, please. Uh, when an interviewer is like uh, asking me a question, should I? Concentrate to the interviewer, or should I means uh, look at the other interviewers? Ma'am has given a very good, uh, you know, uh, video yesterday on our channel. Yes. Okay, where she has already covered this point. Okay. So my uh, this is for this question. I would like to tell you when a person is questioning you, l listen to the question. So, what, uh, if he is speaking, say sir is asking a question, obviously you will be, your eye contact will be, will be with him. Yes. Right? Because he is speaking. And let the person complete. Yeah. Completely. Yes. And after that, take a moment to reflect what he has asked and then answer. Yeah. Yes. Reflection is very important. Because we will, even when you go into administration, just because you have... Uh, you know, face the problem or a challenge, you will not, you will not be, you know, uh, asked or you will not be, uh, you're not supposed to work in a, with a knee-jerk reaction. That should not come. You should come, you, you're from your end, the solution should come after reflection, after understanding, right. after careful thought, right? Yes. So that should be reflected in your interview as well. Right. Okay. Listening. Yeah, that is important. Okay. That's something. I all think. the best. Thank you very much. Man. Yeah. Thank you very much. Sir. Okay. All the best. Okay. You'll do good. Yeah. Thank you. Sir. Yeah. Sure. Thank you.